audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl, my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading. Now, Gemini, I also do your weekly uh, general reading for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point, Gemini. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Gemini. I'm just man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by Gemini. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know what card calls out to you the most uh, in the comments below. I love keeping up with you guys and I just love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards. And if you do have one, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, because it does help out this channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Gemini, this reading's here just to give you some perspective, some food for thought for you to go throughout this week, right? A perspective to consider, right, when you interact with this person. But the, and at the end of the day, I'm not here to make a decision in your life. And yeah, let's just start getting into your reading now, Gemini. Your overall energies from uh, Oracle Animal Spirits uh, for this week is the Wombat Spirit, which is 68, number 68 rather, uh, Gemini. And that would be, you see how I'm buying time to do the math, that would be 14. 14 equaling to 5 for, so 5 for numerology, Gemini, pretty sure. And so this card is telling you to be at home. And then we have the shark card coming in as well, which is a very interesting dynamic, uh, Gemini, because this card is asking for you to trust your instincts and discern the truth of the situation. So I say this is interesting, Gemini, just because it's like almost like a message in of itself to something relate in relation to your home life to start using essentially like your intuition uh, with something. But when you have it with the shark card, um, I don't know. I kind of want to just say there's just, and probably I'm going to be honest, Gemini, it might just be a, like a side message and just like something dealing with like your own personal life that has nothing to do with this reading, right? Maybe if it is someone in your home life, right, that this reading is about, then perhaps like consider like what's going on with him because it is something it does give me a sense that there's something going on that you might not be aware of i don't want it to sound ominous because i don't think it's ominous right we'll see with the tarot right uh and maybe if we get a i won't be surprised i guess uh gemini if we get a uh some high priestesses in here in this reading or some hierophants right just some more intuitive cards but i don't think we have anything to worry about it but uh i'll let you know later right uh, let's start getting into the actual tarot of things gemini uh, i'm going to be pulling a card for you a card for them gemini and then a card for the energy in between y'all two so uh let's just get going with that really good cards though gemini i know last week gemini y'all were going through a relatively rough patch so definitely i'm glad to see in the spread at least, I guess perhaps pertaining just to the situation at least, Gemini, that things seem to be improving a little bit for you. So I celebrate you for that. Um, on your side of things, Gemini, we have the Hermit card, number nine. So this card is just a card where I feel like, and if it's, if I'm correct in like the sense of what I'm getting intuitively and just like for my Geminis that have been following my readings. I feel like this makes sense for you, Gemini, just because you guys have, especially last week, you guys were going through a relatively rough patch, a really rough, I don't want to say rough transition, but you just had a lot of heavy energies, I guess. Um, you felt very alone and just, you could only rely on yourself for this week, but I mean, dare I say that's kind of been more than just this week, uh, for you. But you just kind of been in this hermit mode, uh, perhaps you just are at a, um, in this hermit mode because you don't know what's going on with them, Gemini. Uh, I say this because they have the Queen of Water. So this is an emotional person, Gemini, and I don't know why. Uh, but I just kind of get the sense that this person isn't really, um, they're not in tune with their emotions a little bit, Gemini, or they're in tune with their emotions, but it's kind of like, it's just kind of fiery, I guess. It's part, you might be dealing with the fire sign, but I just feel it's like very much, the emotions that they feel, it's very dramatic. And I don't mean that in like a condescending way, it's just really intense that can perhaps feel a little bit disorienting to deal with. Um, but the energy between y'all two 
is a really good card as well. It's the Ace of Water, which is the Ace of Cups, which by the way, in tarot, um, water is the element for cups. So this would be like the Queen of Cups for them. This would be the Ace of Cups for them, or for the energy between y'all two, Gemini. So this is letting me know this is a deep connection, right? This is like whatever you would want to, I'm not gonna say if it's a soulmate or twin flame, right? That's for you to like figure out, you would know, right? You don't need a tarot reading to tell you, but this would be more so the affirmation of a deep connection, Gemini between y'all two and i want to point out as well a new home is what this card says actually i'll just read off this card it says falling in love or the resurgence of your relationship so perhaps you guys are probably especially since you are in this hermit energy gemini perhaps you guys have been a little bit apart or like a little bit of a distance so i see you guys perhaps i see you getting out of this hermit mode and a little bit more communication a little bit more of a reminder of why it is that you guys are connected in the first place perhaps uh but yeah spiritual growth enhanced intuition into enhanced intuition comes in this card right i forgot that this card says that in this deck but also a new home so we have that intuition card that was uh makes sense for more so for that wombat spirit and the shark gemini so really do pay attention but it's right next to a new home as well so gemini really 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 interesting I wonder what it, what that is about for you guys. Like, this is kind of the kind of reading that I wish I was like a Gemini for just to see how it like correlates because it's like, I don't know. It's, I just love how that all just like came together so early on in this reading, Gemini. It lets me know though, it's a good sign that we're connected. It lets me know that uh, spiritually, there's like a lot of good energies. Take that with whatever you want, though, Gemini. But let's start getting into some clarifiers now for your Hermit card. Uh, let's see what's going on with you. A little bit more clarification. All right, back of the deck. Energy, Queen of Pentacles. So you are in this Hermiting place, Gemini. Perhaps just because you're taking this time to, as I was saying before, you know how I was saying that it made sense for you, especially if you've been through a pretty rough patch, Gemini. It makes sense that you are in this Queen of Pentacles phase of where you're caring for yourself, tending to yourself, and really just being about yourself. Perhaps right now it's one of those times, especially if they are, my intuition is correct with them, Gemini, with this Queen of Water. If they are really like just emotionally like explosive explosive rambunctious whatever you want to call it uh gemini it probably is just a lot to deal with and right now you just need a break perhaps from it and i can understand that so the other the clarifiers rather that we pulled for you gemini for your hermit card would be the knight of swords so there does seem to be let me just show you the other clarifiers first the knight of swords the four of cups and then the seven of cups gemini so I wanted to say what I was saying before. It feels almost like Gemini when it comes to this connection. And it's the, I'm going to just be honest here, right? I'm going to, I might step on some toes, but this is, you know, uh, you, you're not watching this video just to be told a bunch of good things. Well, I, mean, I guess maybe you are, but uh, it does seem to be there's, because I see like a deep connection between y'all two, when it comes to those deep connections, Gemini, like soulmates, twin flames, what have you, those deep connections, it's usually always advertised, right, as a, um, like, or people have this impression of them as, like, it's just, like, the true love, like, they're just, like, rainbows and sunshine, right? You're expecting those rainbows and sunshine with that Four of Cups, right? And even in this deck, you're expecting those rainbows. Um, you expect things in a certain way of where it's just going to be picture perfect. There's no perfect match. So by perfect match, that means like there's not going to be any conflict, any kind of ruffled feathers, right? But that's not the case. When you have those deep connections with a person, uh, Gemini, those people are meant to teach you. You know, they may make you feel good. There may be a relationship that comes from it. But it, and ultimately, these people are just like your soul tribe. These people are here to really... Um, further you on your path by teaching you very important lessons people are in this lifetime are always here to teach you things everyone in this world is here to teach you something but when it comes to that soul family that's when you know um it's going to be per very like impactful lessons uh and i feel like that's the sense with this uh connection gemini i feel like 
there's like some triggering going on from your point of view with this knight of swords and you see it you're getting triggered and you run away um you convince yourself maybe perhaps that this just isn't the one and it's just like you want to just like move on cut them off and keep it keep it going right four of cups because you have like a perspective you have a vision in mind for how you think things should be when in reality if you just shifted your perspective a little bit kind of came to a realization you know what this is about maybe even that like that aha moment where i was saying perhaps you're just like realizing that maybe y'all's love language is just a little bit different maybe that's just like what you had envisioned isn't just kind of realistic uh four of cups is letting letting me know like you're kind of just in this place of just sitting wanting a specific thing but if you just turned your head gemini instead of just running away from anything that is trying to like build up to something good you just realized if you just turned your head you would see this you know you would realize there's like there's a rainbow there it just may not look in the way that you think it should some of cups does come in where it's talking about where a decision doesn't need to be made gemini of where you kind of have to make the decision of being like okay am i going to just buckle down and just uh truck through these lessons hierophant back of the deck uh truck through these lessons right be able to just like work it through this you know go in for the long call when it comes to this connection realize it's not always going to be rainbows and sunshine realize that there's going to be some times where uh you have to learn from the other person you have to see from their side but now Gemma, enough of that babbling because uh, <laughs> I probably like over spoke, which I apologize. But let's get into this queen of water for them now, Gemini. Let's see what's up with them. Let's see what their intention is, what uh, what their thoughts are about you. Let's see. Mm, this one. Queen of Pentacles comes out for them as well. Interesting. Back of the deck, Six of Pentacles. Hmm. So... Let's break this down, Gemini. We have for them, it's almost like they have really good intentions, Gemini, of like, it's almost, it's very, um, the energy that I'm connecting to is a person that really wants to express themselves to you, really give their energy to you with the Six of Pentacles. But this Queen of Pentacles here, I don't know, like, this would be, like, a person that's, like, they want to give their, they want, their, like, they're helpful, they're giving, as long as it doesn't inconvenience them, right? As long as it's in their comfort zone. And I kind of get that impression with them of where it's just, like, they're super just emotional, they're super just, like, invested and what have you, but because they're just a little bit about themselves, perhaps very much so, like, only child syndrome, and that being from like parents that kind of like sp spoiled them and gave them the world like their intentions are very pure with you in this like but they probably just have a little bit more growing up to do i'm going to be honest um but intentions are good and i say this because of the star card and the magician card coming in the star card they acknowledge this deep connection they probably get this impression too with this ace of water where it is a deep soulful connection but maybe they're not voicing it or maybe they don't know like the proper vocabulary for it um, and then they have the Magician card, and this is a card, this is interesting just because it's like, they acknowledge that, almost like it's, I don't know, it's, they really want to create something with you, Gemini, I just get that in part, like, they want to create something with you, but it's almost like they don't want to, there's like this pause, perhaps, just because, um, it might inter, like, I, like, it might, inconvenience isn't the word for it but like they would have to uproot their life a bunch perhaps maybe like a bunch of things in their life would have to change and that's what like, gives them like that anxiety right yeah four of swords yeah they are feeling anxious <laughs> and nine of swords right here yeah they're very much so in their head in, in anxious uh like they want this uh gemini but there's something going on in their life but it's that stops them from taking action because it makes them feel guilty or anxious or something i don't know like there's there's something going on with them like you can like i can tell you like their intentions like their emotions for you are strong but something's going on that gives them guilt for um expressing it perhaps you know it's, it is interesting that you have like that use your intuition and rethink things um I don't know, my mind's going in places, but I don't feel like <laughs> even putting energy into that. Uh, Ace of Water, we're pulling some clarifiers for this now. The energy between y'all two. Emperor card comes out. Wow. Chariot card, Ace of Swords, back of the deck energy. Eight of Wands. Mm. So, 
I feel almost as if Gemini, both you guys need to come from, you guys need to get on the same page because it's like, I feel like you guys are, because like y'all's love languages are different, y'all are just not understanding each other and seeing each other's point of view. So there's this constant just like, I'm sorry, I'm like talking a lot. And so I, whenever I talk a lot, Gemini, I retain a bunch of air. <laughs> um, because it seems like you guys are functioning, for, like not seeing each other's point of view. Like that's where the, like the miscommunication happens. That's where like the friction might happen, which I do get a sense there might be a little bit of, um, maybe not friction, but just like, and steadiness. There is, does seem to be a little bit of unbalancedness to this energy. But with this Emperor card and the Chariot card, once you guys get into the same page, once you guys realize just like, oh, like we both care about each other, we both like each other, there's definitely um, something here, right? Like you might be getting triggered by them, Gemini, because maybe you don't think they care about you or they're not expressing in a way that you like. Um, but over here, they're really expressive. They're just really trying to give to you, but they just have some maturing still. This is like a person that's just like, they want to give you the world, Gemini, but they don't know how, or they don't, yeah, they don't know how, or they don't realize that they have to take, or yeah, it almost feels like they just don't know how, perhaps, or they're just in this process of figuring out how. Um, but yeah, with this Emperor card and the Chariot, it's just like, Get on the same page and things are going to work out for y'all, Gemini. I promise you. I really do get a good feel for this energy and for this connection. There may be some misunderstandings, but I truly feel like this is just a situation of just like different love languages and just not understanding each other's point of view perspective, right? But um, yeah, definitely let me know how this reading resonates with you, Gemini. Let me know how this pans out for you this week. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages, Gemini. But until next time, I love you so much.